Libya's Mercurial Muammar Gaddafi travels in style, and for him that means when he jumps a jet for a foreign foray, he packs his tent, and not just any tent. He rolls high class. The oil-rich ruler has reportedly set up his temporary outdoor home in Cairo, Rome, and next to the Elysee Palace in Paris. Now on his first visit to the U.S. since becoming Libya's ruler in 1969, the controversial Gaddafi's got his tent in tow. His campsite of choice was in New Jersey, but the Garden State gagged and New York nixed Central Park. So did Gaddafi's travel agent pull his trump card and dial the Donald, who never dares to dodge a dust-up, and who reportedly agreed to let Gaddafi lounge at the lavish Seven Springs property Trump's owned since 1995. Well, if it happened, everybody's not on board. It's now welcome in Westchester, as far as I'm concerned. The Associated Press says a State Department official confirms the Libyan government has pitched a tent in suburban New York, which the Libyan leader may use for entertaining. The official said no one would be staying there overnight. As a personal matter, yeah, he doesn't belong here. He's... Uh, basically an enemy of the United States, but, um, you know, we got to live by hard rules. AP says it does appear the property was rented from Donald Trump. And tonight, this statement from the Trump Organization, quote, we have business partners and associates all over the world. The property was leased on a short-term basis to Middle Eastern partners who may or may not have a relationship to Mr. Gaddafi. We are looking into the matter. What about you? Are you happy to hear Gaddafi might be uh, putting his tent around the corner? Uh, I, I don't like to see him close. That's true. And what of Westchester County Executive Andrew Spano? Well, he weighed in on the controversy, too, saying, quote, I have heard unconfirmed reports that Gaddafi may, in fact, be staying in Westchester. There is no legal way to prevent this, as he is a head of state, despite the fact that he has a long history as a terrorist. However, from my point of view, he is not welcome in Westchester.